How's it going everybody? It's Kevin here once again giving you a gameplay commentary of some more Halo 5 Hero playing Warzone Assault on the map Array. I'm going to give you some tips and tricks on how to do better on this map because I always find to consistently do well on this one. Uh, if you enjoy these analysis, tips and trick kind of videos over gameplay commentaries, you know, make sure to tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe for more awesome Halo content and let's get right into this. So you see over here in the beginning of the match I instantly run over to this left side of the map. Now this spot is an I go here every single time when I'm on defense on this map because it's a flank of their spawn. Their spawn point's right over this hill to the left of me right here, right about there where that pillar is. That's pretty much where their spawn point is. And now I'm just pretty much staying on the outside edge of the main lane that they use to go up, which is this right here. A lot of players will go up that rock I'm looking at. And so then what you can do is just kind of stay around the outside of that lane and you can just slaughter noobs i mean just freaking slaughter them <laughs> it's ridiculous uh this video is of each life i had so i had a pretty good kill streaks going on in this match as well i only died like four times and got like 20 plus kills so next time you play this map you definitely 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 want to run this side yes you don't get like like base captures the base defense uh points really but the thing is i still finish in first place I didn't get any defensive points, but that's because I'm defending them from getting onto the base itself. Uh, so um, this may look like I'm kill horn, but really it's the, one of the better ways to play defense because I do not want them getting on top of that base because once they start doing that, the timer starts kicking down. Once uh, you know you have enough more blue players and red players on that on top of the spire right here, that the timer starts ticking down. And of course, we don't want do not want that. Now I've kind of find that if I stand right by here. That really blocks the spawn point over here on the left, so you can see I'm checking it and there's nothing coming over. But the other spawn point's over to the right a little bit, to the right front of the spire as well. So essentially what I'm doing right here is just running back to let them start spawning there so I can come so they can come back to the side and get more action. Right there you can see I got shot in the back and I you know boosted around the corner, but instead of sprinting around the corner to face that guy who was shooting at me, because I figured he'd probably chase. I walked around the corner. Now I know sprint is an ability and it's fun to use and it's a great way to get from A to B really quickly in Halo 5. But you don't need, you don't really need to be sprinting all the time. Just at the moments where you know that there's not going to be any action. And that's why I walked around that corner because there could be a guy around that corner at any second. So I figured I have my gun up ready to go while that guy's probably sprinting around the corner. It makes it for a very easy one-on-one -on -one gunfight for me. So again, Back over to my corner. I'm just laying down shots, so if they jump on top of the spire, I can get assists and things like that. You know, boost up that KDA. Yeah, because everyone wants to know what your kill, death, and assist ratio is. <laughs> so now I'm just getting swarmed by multiple guys because now the spawn has let. Now that I wasn't in the area, the spawn has let the team pop up there. I'm getting overran like crazy, and so. I just uh, ended up dying there, sadly. But uh, so you will have those moments of where you have just multiple people coming by and trying to pick you off. Uh, the main thing is just the, uh, you know, fight. You know, maybe boost around like a pillar or something like that. Crouch down and let your shields recharge. Because uh, so there's so much action in Warzone game modes and assault and regular Warzone that it's kind of tough to keep track of your mini map or radar, whatever you want to call it, while like in the middle of a gunfight. And so I find a lot of times that players will just not be looking at their mini maps while I am uh, while they're engaging in things, and so I can sneak around the back from this left side here and hit them right in the back. Now it's also a very important thing to mention. Uh, you'll see a lot of times players will cluster up like on that big rock pillar to jump on top of the spire. Uh, it means it's totally okay to shoot those guys, obviously. But the thing is, though, you got to make sure to focus fire on just one of those players. You know, I've seen a lot of times like they may kind of like weave in back and forth between each other to. Uh, you know, you know, give a little more variation in their movements, make it so they're a harder target to hit. But you gotta make sure you let, you know, pick your target first, kill that guy you're starting to shooting at, then move on to the second one. Because if you start shooting the second guy, well, a big red icon will pop on the screen saying you're you're being shot from behind. He's gonna want to turn around, which then turns it from a, you know, a one-on-one -on -one situation when that both their backs are turned to a two-on-one, both the guys looking at your face. That's not good. That's not what you want in any game, especially in Halo. And so now I'm just uh, walking around, just trying to find more guys to shoot. Uh, I saw a big push over here on the right side. And so right there, obviously way too close to do an ADS maneuver. So, But uh, luckily the guy's trying to hit me down with the AR. And uh, the BR owns the AR at any time. 
Now I, guess, I did not expect this guy to rush me, so now I'm just backing up, the using the Rockets cover. But hey, the round ended. We won the match. I think I ended up finishing, uh, what, 23 kills, 4 deaths, top of the leaderboard. 6 minute match, over 1400 rack points. If you saw my previous video talking about how Warzone Assault is the way to rack up rack points, you gotta check it out because... <laughs> Trust me, I'll link it in the description down below because trust me, you're gonna wanna play Wars on Assault if you wanna get those rack points. Anyways guys, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this gameplay, commentary, or learned something today, please tap that like button. It greatly helps out the channel. Subscribe for more awesome Halo content, and I'll catch you in the next video, guys. Peace out.